Hello and welcome back to the Evil Within. Suddenly, another chapter. Because uh, it just does that, it just starts. Oh no, Sebastian doesn't have gross behind the camera. Oh, we're in a cave. Cool. Full of dudes. What flavor of dudes? Shitty ones. Oh, it's these blokes. Uh, my least favorite kind of dudes. Alright. Well, I can't remember what we need to do at the moment. Presumably just uh, walk forward and molest molest these men. Have they even spotted us? Probably not. Alright, chaps. Uh, how goes? Oh, I left my Xbox controller in. I hope for crit. A crit that never comes. Yeah, eventually. He's not dead though. Oh no, he's dead. Alright. You're forgiven. You actually dead? He looks reasonably dead. Yeah, there's a blood spatter. Probably the best, uh, best indication. Alright, well... I've decided to, uh, I might gather up a few of these, a few of these grizzly men. And, uh... Yo, grizzly men! How goes? Gentlemen, how goes? Hope you're all well. Oh, I see the last plaggers are out in force. No last plaggers! Please. Seriously. Original the idea, please not steal. Okay, I was actually kidding. Well, not kidding, per se. But, you know... Oh, really? He didn't even stagger from that? Come on, man. Jerk. Well, I'm gonna burn you out of spite. I mean, I give this game a fair, fair bit of shit for being a, a shameless copy of various games that are better than it, but, uh... That was quite literally Las Plagas. That, like, flail, flaily, noodly limbs and all. That was like stage two. Was it? Yeah, that was stage two, wasn't it? Yeah, stage one's the head one, stage two's the splady one. Like, damn, I know it was your game, but doesn't mean you have to steal from it. You know? Just have some tact, man. Ugh. I actually felt quite good about that set, you know, I, I did something that seemed quite fun and original and even though it was knockoff Pyramid Head, it was something a bit different. Oh man, you guys suck so bad. Uh, don't give me that. You guys are assholes. Alright. Dudes? Dudes? Yoink. Kind of an expensive way to do this, but, uh... <laughs> this guy's vomiting on. Whoop. Ah, yink. Eh, one, two. Not ideal, but, uh... Especially with the not replenishing the ammo thing. This would be a lot better, I think, if it replenished ammo after when you shot dudes. But I know it, it tried to promote, you know, I guess, not shooting dudes, but, uh... I kind of like shooting dudes. Shooting dudes is okay. The mechanics aren't terrible for shooting dudes in this. Just not ideal. Alright. Uh, let's see. I got a reasonable amount of ammo. Oh, I had to do stuff here. This is basically an extension of last chapter, so you gain a plus point game for not having completely different scenery. Like, almost seeming like you don't give a sh flying shit, but uh, you lose points for making me do this again. <sighs> press repeatedly, unless you don't need to press repeatedly. You know, because repeatedly. <sighs> I'm sure this is necessary in some way, shape or form somewhere in the gaming world. Hello, key lady. Symbolism. Whatever. What broke? Was it a man being spooky? No. Potentially spooky man. At least he's, uh, you know. Oh, stuff. Am I gonna get chased by something? 
We gotta find a way out of this cave system, or I don't know. Cool. I guess we gotta peg it through. Is this automated fuckery? It is. Okay, well, uh. My bad, I guess. I just have to time this. Stand behind this, shouldn't get molested. Oh, don't you dare fall out. <laughs> So sour. Ow. Oh, my bad. Ugh. Give. Give. Wait, I can't pick up those ones? Why not? Alright, let's just Wolverine some. I don't have to repeatedly push space to squeeze through, or I can just do it? Oh, I have to walk myself. Well, you know, that was perfect, I suppose. See, now it randomly checkpoints me at places I don't need it. Ugh, whatever. Are there dudes down here? There's some sort of wheelie thing. Am I gonna do something with this wheelie thing? Are men going to appear to do me? Glowing things? Oh, okay. Snake Altair wants to talk. I'll let him have his few seconds. Wave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex <sighs> led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. I have to talk like Batman in my recordings, just in case anyone listens back to this and it sounds cool. Yeah, okay, man. Whatever you say. Hey. Hey guys. What up? Honestly, gotta clean house myself, do everything myself. Jesus. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh yeah, was that spooky for you? No, not really. Not not even sort of slightly spooky. Sorry. NB. Don't you think this is weird? No game, I don't. I don't think it's particularly weird, nor do I think it's particularly interesting. Is there a quicker way to get rid of you guys? I seem to be all out of- it gave me a flashy thing, let's try and use it. Maybe it's hinting at something. What do you know? Well, plus I can get, get those bullets now, which I needlessly wasted. Yoink. Uh, yoink. Damn it! I said yoink. Oh really, because I didn't reload. See, I had this pet peeve the other day and I was hoping you'd have fixed it by then game, but uh, apparently not. Whatever. Let's go back to my flash bolts. Wouldn't it be a real surprise if flashbolt meant that Sebastian just pulled open his trousers and surprised everyone? Ugh. Oh yes, I must push space repeatedly, except I don't need to. I can just push it every so often, like so. See, I can't just push it the once and you open the gate, or it doesn't open slowly because there's nothing attacking me and nothing going on. Shit, this is why they invented electricity, guys. We don't need weird caverns full of weird controls and chains. <sighs> Who knows? Is this the cavern of spooky water where stuff jumps for you from the water? 
Like that vagina face from Silent Hill Homecoming. Sorry, you sort of game, you've earned my ire again. I've, I thought you were doing well, but uh, you, you peed it away with your crappiness. And I had high hopes, such high hopes. Are you actually wet, Sebastian? Is that wet or is that shadow? Oh my god, are you actually wet? No. No, your, your waistcoat is bone dry. What about your trousers? Oh, we'll investigate you. Let's dump you under here. Do you get soggy? No, Sebastian, you look bone dry. Minus points for laziness. Shit. Games on the GameCube can get that right. You slackers. Oh no, there's dudes. Flee! Gentlemen. Ugh, what an explosive finale. Ha ha ha. Um. Party rat? Party rat! Oh god, what the shit. Well, that's not something you see every day. Is Evil Within gonna pass off floating party rat as uh, a thing, or are we just gonna pretend that didn't happen? Eh, uh, dudes. My least favourite kind. Uh, I have no harpoon bolts, I have a poison bolt or two. Freeze bolt? I've got four of those, maybe I should attempt to lamp one. Oi! You! Tosser! Reasonable. Can I, free can I slap him? I can. Nice. Now back to lightning bolt. <laughs> lightning bolt! That. Brains. So what was up with the two less plagas version? Was that we just uh Apparently I can just stomp on this guy. Oh no, he grabs my leg. Oh god! <laughs> And what was I talking about? Checkpoints being half decent now. <sighs> like I always say, if I have to suffer through this, so does everybody else. Enjoy! Let's go to the spooky wall of spookiness where the spooky people can go spooky. Ah! Are you scared? You should be scared. This is spooky! 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 Fuck off! And not a single. These guys just explode? Have I not even got to shoot these guys? Mm, I'm gonna test this. Since the checkpoints are crappy, I might as well test this theory. Yo, spookums! Let's try this. I don't know, I can walk on these guys. Doesn't seem to hurt me. I mean, it's kind of icky, but. Hey! Maybe they can attack me if I. Yeah, they can, like, jump on me. Whatever. Oh, okay, I'm cutting this out. There you go, I just saved you 45 seconds of complete pointlessness. Oh, what was I doing before? Was I bitching about the water being slow? Yeah, I was, wasn't I? <laughs> this water's really slow. Ugh, oh, yawn, yawn. Actually, tell you what. Oh god, party rat is back. Two party rats. Oh, come on, that's just... That's more than a coincidence, isn't it? We don't just get two floating rats. Goodbye, floating party rat. May you rest in whichever floaty piece you come from. Now, let's swap to freezy zappy thing. There we go. Ah, you, man. You wanna get a bit closer? So I can zap you. Oh, whatever. Stand. Squish, squish, squish. I'm not taking any chance with this fucker. Brain juice. Have I missed any of these squishy guys? I uh, hate to do that, that would just be awkward. Oh, we've got two freeze bots left. I mean, these things are kills, so that's pretty decent. Oh, good, another gap we can squeeze through. I hope you checkpoint me after this game. That'd be kind of irritating if I have to deal with that again. There we go. Oh, there's, uh,. What's that? Is that? A dead kid of some sort? 
Looks a bit weird. Nah, this game doesn't give crossbow bolts away for free. What's the catch? Yeah, weird. Again, game, we're just trying to do weird for weird's sake, I feel. I mean, if you want to go into the real depths of this, I mean, finding, I don't know, machine parts in a box is pretty weird. Cave note. Oh, for God's sake. I can't scroll down, can I? I went in too deep, and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. The door has to lead outside. This plate I found, like it fits the slot, is probably the key. But which way does it go? 50-50 odds. And I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity. I'm going to make a simple choice. <sighs> there we go. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you what, you were right, then I'll never let you go. Bad show, old bean. Uh, well, 50-50 odds this goes horribly tips up, right? I shoot the second we step in here, we get impaled. I can examine. Alright. Oh, okay. Cheers. Bloody relief plate. Thank you. Do I get to choose which side it goes in? So it's either the face or the impaled one. Well, the fact it's got blood on it is probably a good, good sign. Oh, it made a bad sign. I mean, the logic being there, if it has blood on it, it's because it sprayed when someone got impaled, right? So you, you pick the side without the blood on it. Lady had a 50-50 chance and uh, stuffed it up. I really hope there is an outside to this cave system. Mm. Shit, I'm in the middle of an anomaly from Stalker. Blow out! Swag. Nice. Spooky, scary hospitals. Seriously, horror games love the spooky, scary hospital trope? I work in one. They are neither spooky nor scary. Though occasionally they smell a bit like poo and vomit. But that's okay. That's fairly normal. This is why they don't really bother me, honestly. Like, this, it's like a big, it's always a big trope for horror games. I, I know, I can see the logic behind it. It's a place of pain and frightening and stuff, but, uh... Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. Just had a we need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. Does he? Seems to be doing alright so far. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's like linking brains together. You're right, that is stupid. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology and, and stupidity. On consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. That's my word. Well, I didn't say yeah. it was perfect. <laughs> Hmm. Especially not with such a unstable host. Let me guess, Great. Leslie. So your research partner is a psychopath, and we're all inside his head. Oh, or Ruvik, maybe. N not exactly. No, all of us are contributing on some level, but he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but. 
I'd say he wants us dead. Why don't you just shoot us then? In case you didn't understand that it was about brains, here is a brain. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, this bit kind of makes sense in the the doc doesn't want us Ruvik, or you know, not Snake RT, it doesn't want us fiddling and faffing, so he like ports us out. That I can buy, you know, it's still stupid, but I can buy it. Journal of Sebastian. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Mira, God bless her, has a tough three years, raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here is growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. Um, well, surely there's other people. I scroll down a million times. Come on, we can do it! Yes! Phew. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped. <laughs> can't call it Crimson City, honestly. Ugh, whatever. Read the rest if you want. I can't bother. Them. Oh, nice. Okay. Am I doing this? Yeah, okay. Have I got to hold down the thing? No. Can we just keep running? Yeah. It's an interactive cutscene, I guess. Hello, I am Weird Beast of Weirdness. I came in the room that you were in previously and stuff. Is this Lisa's room? Yeah. Hey, Dr. Snake Alt are you? How's it going? Ugh, badly. Alright. Oh, that was the entire chapter. Oh, nice. Um, thanks. I will save the game, indeed. I'm sure we will explain all of that at some point. I know people say that the game starts explaining things towards the end, but the thing is, if you start explaining absolutely nothing, you know what I mean? Like, it gets to the point where you're just gonna be like, uh, <laughs> help? Oh uh, well, whatever. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, I feel like I've left this without whinging about something. Well, I whinged a little bit about the story. Uh, the setting's still a bit shit. Uh, I suppose I could whinge about going back to the hospital setting, but I feel that's a bit old hat at this point. Let's, rim let's whinge about Crimson City and what a stupid name that is. Yeah, alright, there we go. Oh, I'll pretend I whinged about it. Feeling unmotivated to whinge any further about it. Eh, what is there to say? It's a stupid name. Um, I don't know, I'm interested in seeing what- I uh, kind of interested in seeing where they're taking this, and if there's suddenly some big revelation that isn't just it's in his head, lol, then it might be interesting, but I feel that is indeed where we're going, and all the monsters are representative of some weird shit in his head that we don't really care about. Again, there's so much comparison here to Silent Hill because they did exactly the same thing as Silent Hill, the themed monsters that do it based on the character Psyche, uh, but Silent Hill was actually interesting. Like, they paced it properly, you didn't swap environments every two seconds, like, we didn't go from cave system to hospital because it's just, like, what the shit? <sighs> Hospitals. We get such bad rep, I swear. Our nurses are really nice, mostly. I mean, sure, they can be scary, but they don't tend to murder anyone. Or they don't seem to be covered in blood. Occasionally vomit, but not blood. That's just weird. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.